My name is Kathleen Barry Bruett. I have an economics degree from St. Joe's, and I graduated in 1949. Right now, I'm the CEO of the Kathleen and Jean Bruett Partnership and Foundation. So going to St. Joe's was a dream of mine. My mom and dad were immigrants. My dad felt that you really could have a good life if you became a secretary. And I, I know that's true, too. But I really wanted to go to college. It was just that getting a college degree for me was a goal and a dream. And so just being there for me was a gift. I was an inner city student at St. Joe's honored with a scholarship. If there had not been a college right in the area that I could go to as a day student, I would not have been able to go to college. Even though I was a day student, St. Joe's was the kind of school where we didn't have to be a boarder to be involved. Many of us who were day students were were totally involved in, in school life in, you know, many, many different areas, either in the different clubs or in the uh, student government. And that was, I think, some of what was, what was so wonderful about St. Joe's. Because it was a woman's college, there was this amazing opportunity for leadership. St. Joe's came back and became another very important part of my life in 1978. What happened, uh, two of our children died of cancer in less than a year. I had a good friend who was working at St. Joe's in the community interest office. He said, what would you think about coming and doing some volunteer work? I really feel like St. Joe's saved my life at that point because uh, my grief was encompassing. So I went back to St. Joe's, and I did volunteer work for a number of years. And coincidentally, around the same time, Gene was involved because he became a consultant to the board of directors on uh, banking matters. And so he was also involved at the school at the same time. St. Joe's was so important in our lives that then when the opportunity to, um, when Winnie Coleman uh, called and asked if we would like to um, do something a lot more substantial, it worked for us. We both liked the school. We decided that even though there are a multitude of places where we could gift m money, that it would be nice to concentrate in one particular place, and that St. Joe's was a gift in our life. The key fruit. The program at, at the School for Young Children, Dean decided that uh, Harry Keith, who was his senior partner in KBW, uh, had lived in West Hartford when his daughter was small, and his daughter had gone to the School for Young Children. We had lived in Bloomfield, so our children hadn't gone to the School for Young Children. But Dean decided that it would be nice if Harry would like to do something with him to um, make a contribution to the School for Young Children. And that's how that started. And they made a, um, a sizable partnership contribution. And that's what's uh, grown into this, that, this wonderful program that they have every year. I have one quotation that I'd like to end with. I've shared it at St. Joe's before, and Jean and I have shared it in other places. It goes... Isn't it funny but princes and kings and clowns who caper in sawdust rings and simple folks like you and me are builders for eternity. Each is given a bag of tools, 
a shapeless mass, and a set of rules. And each must build, ere life has flown, a stumbling block or a stepping stone. That says a lot about who Jean and I are, but we hope that we have provided a stepping stone at St. Joe's. 